Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching today. Today's topic is Eat That Toad. Eat That Toad. You might have heard of that book, um, Eat That Frog. I changed it a little bit, just, you know, so it's not the exact topic <laughs> or exact verbiage about Eat That Toad or Eat That Frog. Uh, the book Eat That Frog was by um, Brian Tracy, I think it was, was uh, the author. But the premise of the book, and the concept of eat that frog or toad is that every day you're going to put tasks on your plate. You're going to say your plate is your day. You're going to put things on there that you have to accomplish and do. And uh, an analogy is on their plate, you could have tadpoles, you could have small frogs or big toads, you know, and if you have to eat and get everything done that's on your plate, it's uh, the theory behind it that I totally believe myself. You've got to tackle the big things first, the important things first, eat the toad first, because if you start doing all of the little things, like again, the the analogy is the tadpoles are the little day-to-day -day things that are not as important. And then the frog, the small frogs, those are the more important things that you have to do. And then the toad, the big toad that's sitting there staring at you is the most important thing you have to do every day. And if you start eating the tadpoles and then move her up to the frog, you're not going to have that, you might not have the appetite to finish or even start the most important thing is eat that toad. Now, in real estate, what are the things that I'm talking about? Example, emails, checking what the news, uh, returning phone calls from people that don't need a call right th first thing in the morning, but can be handled uh, later in the evening, uh, in the morning, or any agent. If you can pick up your phone every time it rings uh, to handle things, well, let me put it this way. I want to be specific because I get this question a lot. I tell agents, if you know who's calling you, and it's not like something where you know the a deal, uh, you know, it's a prospect that if you don't pick up the phone, they might call another agent. You might lose business over it. Something, an emergency. You sh in my opinion, you if you could pick up the phone to someone just calling, you have no idea what they're calling you about, but you're just going to pick up the phone. You don't have enough scheduled for your day. That's more important. You're putting, you're pushing that toad. If you're just picking up the phone on every single person that calls you, especially if you know who those people are and what they might need. If they're not, if it's kind of like, you know, I know I'm going off on a tangent here, your doctor, you don't get to walk into your doctor's office and walk right in or her, her office and say, you know, check me out because they have their day planned. And again, if there's an emergency that comes in, yes, the doctor slides everything over and takes care of the emergency, but it, for regular things. So to compare, that's those tadpoles. Some people, just because they're swimming around, you know, this is more about the analogy, <laughs> swimming around, they're, you're, they're getting your attention, they're calling you, they're texting you, the emails are coming in, the small things, you're reacting to things because those are moving around the most. Those frogs and those toads are just sitting there, you know, just sitting there waiting for you to do those important things. So that analogy of... Uh, making sure you put the most important things first, you won't be bothered or you won't burn up your time and energy on those little tadpoles things and start working on the important things. What's that important thing? You know, as I'm going to say, prospecting, uh, networking, connecting with people, following up on your, your sphere of influence, income generating activities, Following up on leads that might have come in on your listings yeah, la last night or late last night. Following up with those buyer leads that might have come in over the last few weeks and you're calling them every couple days until they tell you, don't call me anymore or um, show me some houses. 
those income generating activities, that's, those are the toads. And then the frogs are those things all underneath there, working on your current transactions, making sure the buyers are, you know, doing their loan application, make sure that the, the, the appraisal schedule, make sure the inspection is done, make sure the removal of contingencies are done and your deals. And then the tadpole things is all the other little time uh, killers, the emails, the texts, the things that can wait to the day. So a lot of my agents already know this from just way I plan my day every day is just 90%, maybe 80%. Of my day is scheduled. People that call me, text me in the morning or the day before, you know, hey, I need your help with this or that. Is it important? Is it an emergency or can we do it tomorrow at two o'clock or or to this evening? It, it's I unless someone calls or texts me and says it's an emergency. And I had one today because a deal was falling apart and, I, and the agent had to get back to the buyer and I slid things around. But unless it's an emergency, uh I put people in my half hour time blocks of when it is, but also remember to all my agents out there is that if you need me, don't just do random. Like, Hey, call me when you get a chance. You tell me higher from one to 10, 10 being the most extreme needed ASAP to one. When you need me does have to be within the hour, within the afternoon, evening, next day, because I do that for all of my agents to prioritize to that. And you should be doing that the same thing. Example, in the morning or in that whatever time of day you're saying, I'm going to start eating this toad, doing that prospecting, nothing should come involved because that's the most important thing unless it's a major emergency of something. And what I try to say is the analogy with those tadpoles, the way I view that, analogy is those tadpoles are always moving around. They're always trying to get your attention, but they're not that important. So with technology and ways to communicate, you got to ask, hey, by the way, I'm in a meeting, I'm in appointments. Is this, an, how important is this? How fast do you need me? Call me when you get a chance. Okay. Again, minute, hour, two hours tomorrow when I get a minute because I'm my days are all my minutes are taken today but I want to make you a priority when is, is you know do you think is best for you there's role playing and things you can do for uh, with people to make sure you stay on task and you're eating that toad and finishing that toad first before you move on to the frogs and those tadpoles so hopefully that made a little bit of sense you know, a little clearer in my head but uh, but remember, reach out to me, call, text, email me anytime. I'll put you in my schedule and help you out with anything that you need. So have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.